gardener, Mr. McGarriger. We're just lucky he answered the phone at all. Oh, remember last time's hearing? I miss the hawk, the hawk, the bird in love! Next time I hear that song, I'm gonna shove my chamois on my nice girl. Oh, we need to work hard for this week. Should be nice and quiet. Ah! Oh, it's the character! Oh, my team! We just heard on the radio! We are so scared! There's an escape convict! There's an escape convict named Pop Menace. Menace? That's not just coincidental, is it? Menace is a bad thing. Yes, there's Dennis the Menace. And he's Come on, Mr. Rapper. We made it. We ran the whole way. 
Those fat caps? Why? Almost say ahead of the enemy. Enemy? Are we at war? No. We're not at war against us. No, you're not at war. We almost always assume one is at war. It keeps for fit. Oh, we've got a live one. <laughs> we shall stay. As long as we keep looking to the left and to the right. I'm getting nauseous. All that running, all that looking left and right. Uh, we have a problem with this. I'm just so happy about this. Our motto, help through hiking. Calm through camping. Serenity through self-sufficiency. Outward hope. Oh, OK. Well, um, isn't that nice? I'm would you like to buy a bag of our home golden wickets? Don't go to Switzerland, they're totally unprepared for war. It says don't go to war. They're always neutral. They're neutral because they're unprepared. No, they're neutral because it's their philosophy. Now, now, no talking politics. You're on vacation. Everything is politics. Lucky, get up. Why don't you get yourself at your rooms? Come on. Come along, then. Colonel Muffle here, I feel ever so better about the Catman, the Seascape Convict. The Seascape Convict! Yes, armed and dangerous. Armed and dangerous! Yes, and maybe headed our way. Headed, headed our way! Of course, he's not headed our way. He's gonna want to get away from people, now won't he? So, everyone, please, there's nothing to worry about. Just take the guests to their rooms without another word. Come on, squeeze those glutes! <laughs> 
That's right. And Count de Smear has been fighting with Billy Body ever since she got here. But I didn't kill her! Really? Because you threw her in the water with the sharks. I didn't kill her! Could it be my turn now? I am, after all, the inspector. Now, we have a murder. On top of that, we have an escaped convict. We would be hiding outside, armed and dangerous, at this very moment. Maybe the crime is out of the The convict could be in this room right now. I've never seen any of these people in my life. One of them could be Pat Hennis. He could even be the guy to a woman. So it could be anyone, outside or here, right now, in this room. That's what that means. What about Colonel Muggle? Yes, maybe he had a motive. We found this in your luggage. Give it back, but with all the excitement and bad news on the radio, you forgot. It's a promise, Rick. Uh, sorry, engage it, Rick. You don't know the difference. Clearly not. And there's a note. Colonel Muckle, I decided not to marry you after all. Here's your ring back. Warm as regards, Billy Bonnie. No! Perhaps your revenge killing me, Colonel Muckle. P.S. I love a man named Bernard. Bernard! I loved her, and I wouldn't want her back too if it wasn't for your ridiculous mind. Darn you, Bernard! Darn you, Bernard! Oh. <laughs> but Bernard broke up with her. Did you know Bernard? Bernard, talk to me. It's too late to say that I can't read mine now. May I continue my investigation, please? Hilda the hairdresser? Hilda? Where did Hilda go? There she is. My trained thespian. I find it odd that she's always changing her looks. She never looks as the same from one t one moment to the other. You're just trying to avert suspicion away from you. What suspicion? I didn't even know the woman. Unless, unless a high-powered businessman like yourself wanted to get in the health club great. You needed to get rid of your competition. Hey! Look, just because Miss Billy Body had the health department calling us when we opened our newly health department, well, fitness club. There's no reason for me to kill her. But you didn't? No, nobody likes to clean. They're all lazy. So it looks like most of you have motive, and I suspect there are others who still have secrets. What about McGee? He said he his body would have regret drinking the one. Because I've had it before. It's awful. It's horrible. Right? That Look, it's 
not coming from the door. See? Told not so fast, Dennis. <laughs> we thought you were dead. Or oh, she's the best man we've ever seen. That's not the real inspector. That's Pat Menace, the escaped convict. I'm not the real Billy Body. I'm the real inspector. And I have a nasty headache. How do we know you're the real inspector? Well, it's because I work on the mainland, but I was on the island because of the escaped convict. I went undercover as Billy Body, and I ferried, ferried out here for today to be a guest. But before I could, uh, before I could arrest him, someone tried to kill me and suck me in the window seat. Well, that'll teach you not to attempt murder when senior outward both counselors are in the room. All I have to say is if I would have known you were the real inspector, I would have never pushed you off the boat. I'm a law-abiding citizen, almost all the time. It all started when I drank the lemonade. By the way, Dot, I really was choking. Put some sugar in that stuff. So what? I'm a bad cook. That doesn't make me a murderer. You're right. It doesn't. When the lights went out and I choked on the lemonade, somebody saw their chance. I felt a sharp pain in my back. Luckily, I was wearing my bulletproof vest disguised as a warm-up jacket, so I didn't feel anything. Then someone hit me on the back of the head and I fell unconscious, and someone had the great idea to stick me in the window seat. I decided to stay there so you all would think I was dead. Yeah, but you already knew that the fake inspector was Pat Menace. It just doesn't make sense. But I wasn't sure that he was the one that tried to kill me. I assumed that whoever tried to kill me would check to make sure I was dead in the middle of the night. And I was correct. Luckily, he isn't a very good doctor. McCandlish, I place you under arrest for attempted murder. McCandlish? Oh, wait. He's not a very good doctor either. But why McCandlish? I saw both of you talking to Billy Body at morning tea and during aerobics. I knew she would want to get into that muscle skewer building deal, and I'll be out. One mistake. I caught up one wrong leg, and now nobody trusts me. Don't be ridiculous, McCandlish. Sherry and I were only talking about Billy Body. Well, we don't, Billy Body. If I invest in your kids, and since you spent all your money on your mouth practice, you would be really included. She wanted the serum. I know it. When she choked on the lemonade and the lights went out, I had my chance. Wait a minute. I never actually met the real Miss Body. How come Connor Muckle did not know she was? Well, you see, like me without my glasses, love is blind. And so, on our one and only date, I didn't wear them, of course. You know, I look better without them. But then, I still fell in love with her. And when she said no, I came back to this island, hoping that I could win her back. And what about you, Bernard? How come you didn't know she was the real Billy Body? Well, Billy and I have never actually met. We just want to in line for months. We're going to be here for the first time. Like, she never sent me a picture. And we're going to be here for the first time. I was wondering what she was being so cold. So she doesn't know you're a minor? I told her I was an architect and I sent her a picture of my cousin Andrew, the male model. Well, that explains a lot of the Romantic interests, broken engagements, meetings, obviously the invited to Come on, you two, off the station. You want to leave the room now? I assume so. I'll be making breakfast if you want to head to your room. Come on, sir. Darth, can you go get me my tomatoes? Say please. Please. Say please again. Please. Oh my gosh, will you just say please? Say it twice. Say please, and then say please again. That's three times. Please. Darth, go yes. get me. Oh! 